In this problem, we're told to evaluate the improper integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over the fourth root of 1 plus x dx. So in order to evaluate an improper integral like this, what you're going to want to do is rewrite it as a limit. So what we're going to do is say the limit, and then we're going to choose a arbitrary variable. I'm just going to choose t for this case. You can choose anything you want. But it's going to be t as t approaches, and then what you want to do is look at the bounds of your limit, and notice if you have an infinity. In this case, we do. It could be negative infinity. But in this case, we have an infinity, so we're just going to say as t approaches infinity, and then what you're going to do is rewrite your integral, or your definite integral, and then replace the infinity with uh, the variable you chose. In this case, we chose t, so we're just going to rewrite it as 0 to t. So we just replace the infinity with a t. So, And then we just have our integrand, so the fourth root of 1 plus x dx. And so this right here is going to be uh, what we have to solve now. And so what we want to do essentially is just solve this uh, integral. And then we're just going to evaluate it as t goes to infinity. So the first step we have to do, or what we do next, is just solve this integral. So 0 to t of 1 over the fourth root of 1 plus x dx. So let's go ahead and solve this integral. So we have to find uh, the integral, right? And so we're going to say u is equal to 1 plus x. So we're just using u substitution here. So if we say u equals 1 plus x, and that means we have to take the derivative of it. So derivative of 1 plus x is just 1, because this would be 0, and then this would be 1. So it just equals dx, essentially. So we can just rewrite it as the integral from 0 to t of 1 over. And then we're going to replace 1 plus x with u. So this is just 1 over the fourth root of u, which is, this is just u to the fourth, or 1 over 4. So 1 over u to the 1 over 4, which is just u to the minus 1 over 4, right? Because it was 1 over it. And then it's just going to be du, right? Because dx is just equal to du. And so now we've got it like this. What we're going to want to do is find the antiderivative. So uh, u, or essentially what we're going to do is just add 1, right? You add 1 to it. So minus 1 over 4 plus 1 is 3 over 4. And then we divide by 3 over 4. So essentially right here is just going to be 4 over 3, just the inverse of it. So 4 over 3, u to the 3 over 4. And then we want to evaluate it from our range. So 0 to t. And so now we just got to go ahead and plug in uh, t. But essentially, actually what we have to do first is replace the u with uh, what we have here, right? So 1 plus x. So 4 over 3, we'll just rewrite it as this. 4 over 3. 1 plus x to the 3 over 4, and then now we can use this range, right? Because if we were going to use u, you would have to change these ranges by plugging them in here. But uh, we're just going to plug it back in first. So 4 over 3, 1 plus x to the 3 over 4. If we go ahead and plug in t, right, we're just going to evaluate this. So we plug in t minus and then plug in 0. So plugging in t, we're going to get 4 over 3, 1 plus t to the 3 over 4. So that's t, and then we minus and plug in 0. So 4 over 3, 1 plus 0 is just 0, right? And then 1 to the 3 over 4, 1 to anything is still 1, and then 1 times 3 over, or 4 over 3 is just still 4 over 3. So we have 4 over 3 uh, times 1 plus t to the 3 over 4 minus 4 over 3. But keep in mind, we still have to evaluate it as the limit as t goes to infinity. So we have the limit as t goes to infinity, right? Because this whole thing right here is essentially just this integral. But we still have this limit, and we got to evaluate it. So we have the limit as t goes to infinity of 4 over 3 times 1 plus t to the 3 over 4 minus 4 over 3. So now let's plug in infinity for t. So if we plug in infinity for t, this is going to be 1 plus infinity, right? This inside. 1 plus infinity is still infinity because it's still a really big number. And then infinity to the 3 over 4, if we take infinite number to the 3 over 4, it's still going to be a really big number. So nothing really changes about that. So it's still infinity. And then we have infinity times the 4 over 3. A uh, really big number times 4 over 3 is just still going to be uh, infinity. So it's still a really big number, right? So now we have infinity. So this whole thing is still infinity. And then minus 4 over 3. Uh, infinity minus 4 over 3 is still going to be infinity. We're just minusing a really small number from it. So it's going to be equal to infinity. And so since it goes to infinity or negative infinity in some other cases, but since it doesn't uh, converge into a specific number, like 1 or 2, or it's like a specific number, right? Since it goes to infinity like this, it's going to mean it's divergent, right? So there's two cases. It's divergent or it's convergent. Uh, convergent means that it goes to a spe uh, specific number. In this case, it just goes to infinity, so it's going to be divergent. So it's going to go to infinity, and it's going to be divergent. So essentially, this integral is going to be divergent. And so, yeah.
This is going to be your answer and hopefully you found this useful.